So I've heard stories about um, parents doing stupid stuff with their children. Um, like, like I remember watching one of Review Tech USA's videos where he talks about um, <clears throat> leaving a child behind. You know, the the parents uh, went out, they, they went out and um, and play Pokemon Go. And what happened was, you know, a police officer found a child stranded on a um, sidewalk and um, and called the parents and said, they're like, what are you doing? And, then, and what happened was the parents were like, whatever, and then they hung up, which I thought that was pretty messed up right there. So, um, well, this time... There was a babysitter who was charged with um, with a drowning death. So um, what what are we talking about here? So there was a babysitter who was at a party where she had alcohol and drugs. Um, a 22 year old woman watched her ingested marijuana or um, on morning of November 25th when a child the ch um, when a child Aubrey Alcott was removed from the dirty pool according to a police report um, Aubrey Alcott's the one that drowned um, she's the victim of the situation so on Wednesday Jacqueline Jorndahl was charged with aggravated manslaughter of child neglection and hopefully she'll spend the rest of her life behind bars at least. Um, upon interviewing, Jorndahl said she had alcohol, marijuana, and other drugs at a party on Thanksgiving, if you're in the United States. <laughs> According to a report in, in Lieutenant Mike Bandish of the Palm Bay Police Department. Uh, now, here's here's a thing. Um, I mean, which, if you're in Florida, well, I mean, marijuana is only legal for medical purposes. So, if you're a person who's having, like, a health issue and you want you, um, you want marijuana, then, um, then you could have it, but, um... But Jean Dahl, she didn't use it for medical purposes. She used it to try to get attention. And <laughs> let me tell you something, all right? The marijuana, it, it's only used for treating medical problems. It's not, it's not used for, you know, the same way as like, you know, drinking soda and stuff like that. You know, <laughs> I mean, you don't drink marijuana, but I mean... It's it's only the marijuana is only used for um, like treating health problems. So that that's what I want to say here. Okay, now back to this. Um, so um, a after Jorndal interviewed with a police officer, she asked a uh, um, babysit Alkit for a sleepover, and, and Aubrey's mother agreed. And, and she didn't realize the kind of drugs that Jean Dahl was on. Um, the next morning, Jean Dahl ingested marijuana after Alkit Alkit woke up at 8:30 in the morning. Jean Dahl said that she and Aubrey were watching a film while they were upstairs when the child asked to go outside to pet a pig that is <clears throat> outside in the backyard. Jordahl thought that it was okay, saying the girl is independent and self-sufficient, a report states. Now, here's my, this is where I lose my mind, all right? Children, like, I don't mean just any child, I don't mean just like any group of children, but a child who's five years old is not capable of taking care of him or herself, all right? He, he doesn't have the brain power, all right? I mean, you know, they... Whatever, um, th this reminds me of the Pokemon Go story that I've heard from Review Tech USA where there was a baby who was left behind because the, the parents thought it was a good idea to play Pokemon Go leaving the child you know, left behind at a house. Because, I mean, there, there's, there's stupid stuff that children may do and it's something that will cause parents to be shocked. <laughs> um... So, um, 
anyways, um, oh yeah, and, and, um, and another thing is that when it comes to these drugs that this person was on, um, see, this, this is why you don't do drugs, alright? Drugs cause you to do stupid stuff, alright? They, they damage your mind and your state, alright? They, they damage your mentality. It, it, it doesn't make you think straight. You know that I mean it's it's no wonder why there are t there are a lot of people under 18 who are being convicted felons and stuff like that, and it's mostly because they are on drugs. All right, and 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 because the drugs are what causes you to do something stupid. All right, so um, all right, so moving on, um, so so after the. Jorndal thought that was okay, and what happened was the pig was, um, she was, it was in a pen next to a pool, which has described as dirty, moldy, and with furniture at the bottom. Um, coiled hoses were around the pool, and tools and the equipment were on the patio. So, um, I guess maybe the pool may have, like, been contaminated by the pig. Um... I guess that's why it got dirty, or maybe it's the equipment around it, um, who knows. So, Jorndal said she could, she could try yelling at Aubrey to, to see if she would respond. Um, she said a girl was outside for about maybe five to ten minutes before she realized she wasn't responding. Um, I mean, if, if it's one advice I like to give to Jorndal, um, is that the babies need to be kept away from the pools, all right? They they should be kept away because, I mean, babies they they might end up being in a dangerous situation like this. You know, they might drown. They might drink water which has chlorine in it, which can cause, which can cause a number of health problems, which can maybe even be fatal. Um, this is why. Babies have to be supervised at all times. I mean, they're they're not like adults. Let me tell you that much. So, um, she didn't see Aubrey in the pool and started searching the neighborhood about 20 minutes later. And about, well, about 20 minutes later, a roommate saw an unusual shadow in a pool and, and got a metal rod and poked it, which um, the neighbor realized it was Aubrey. I mean, she's the child that that drowned. Um, she was taken to the hospital and and that's where she was pronounced dead. Um, the person who examined her found <laughs> um, found swelling in the um, cardiovascular and respiratory systems which the examiner responded is um, consistent with drowning and well the, well the person who examined her um, found that she was consistent the child was consistent with the drowning and being underwater for at least seven minutes. I mean one thing to say about that is I mean if you're a person who wasn't able to breathe for like for like a few minutes then you're gonna have some serious issues. So um Bandish said that he didn't anticipate anyone else being arrested in connection with the case. Um, Jean Dahl is being held at a detention center without bail. So, um, if there's, if there's an advice I'd like to give to you, is, um, well, when you've been, this is like when it comes to babysitting a child, is you have to treat the child the same way as you treat your child, alright? Like, you have to make sure that you take care of the child properly, and you have to understand that that the um, the parent's child is just as valuable as your child, and, and not just valuable but important too. And if you're a person who who doesn't manage the responsibility, I mean, you know, the child is going to have some serious issues later on. And you know, if, <clears throat> I mean, I mean, think about this. All right, like. If you're like in a store and the temperature is like 90 degrees outside, you leave your ch you leave a five-year-old child inside the car and the temperature inside is like 135 degrees. 
You know what would happen by the time you get back to your vehicle? The child would be dead because the child couldn't bear the heat. You know, the, the body temperature is too high. You know, the person who was in there too long was cooked. And and see this is this is why um <laughs> this is why they got draconian laws um against it. I mean, you know, that it's like manslaughter. Basically if you leave someone in in a place too long that you know, a dangerous place too long, you know, that, that child would be dead. You know, you know, he may suffocate. There's there's a number of things that can happen. And to the person that um the person that that had the um, the the one who was babysitting and got the child um, dead, you know, with drowning. I mean, <laughs> let me tell you, man. I mean, if if she's if she's convicted, which I'm hoping she does, you know. Um, I mean, I've done the research myself, and it, if you're in Florida and and you're convicted of aggravated manslaughter. Um, your penalties could range anywhere from like 13 years in prison up to life, um, and you could get up to $10,000 in fines. Which I mean, if I had it my way, this person would be in prison for the rest of her life, because you know th this stuff is not tolerable. All right, it's dangerous. So. Um, <clears throat> I mean, remember that, you know, once you have a child, I mean, life is not yours anymore. It's, it goes to the child now. So anyways, uh, which I think overall this story is, <laughs> I, I think it's depressing, you know, to, to see a child die like that. I, I'm pretty sure all of you would feel the same way too. <laughs> you know, for those of you who think rationally. Um, so anyways, if you have any thoughts about this, um, my suggestion to you is leave them in the comment section below. And um, this is Martian Doomer 11339 signing out. Have a good one.